All right. Here's the deal. If what was alleged is true, Pat Fitzgerald should never have been suspended for two weeks. He should have gotten what he eventually got. If if the court of public opinion made it worse than the what merited just a two week suspension, then he's getting hosed. We don't know. They're a private school in the Big Ten. And they're like, okay, we don't have to do it. I guess uh, do trustees force it? I don't know. Do you have to? Do you have to explain yourself if you're Northwestern to the United States of America and sports fans? Maybe not. But if you're looking for another guy, I've got a name. I've got a name. I have no idea if this is guy is interested but he's available who knows football who has an unimpeachable reputation who knows how to reach young men who knows how to tell a provost or hear the news from a provost that transcript's not good enough and still find somebody good enough who knows maybe how to beat usc and ucla who knows how to do it in a major media market who knows I'll throw his name out there. I have no idea if he's interested or he'd want to do it. But if I'm Northwestern, once this all lands, I'm on the phone to David Shaw. He did it at Stanford. This is like the Stanford of the Big Ten. Northwestern has some very stringent standards. I did a um, uh, a television piece for the Medill School of Journalism, Chicago Quarter. Is what I had to do to gra- help graduate. I did a piece on why it's so difficult to win in um, in Northwestern, and so um, at the time it was tough to win. Remember Gary Barnett? He was the coach of Northwestern. They had just gotten good when they were there. They eventually made the Rose Bowl after I left. It was Adrian Autry was a running back, and. You know, he was um, he was honest. It was tough. It's tough to find football players that um, an institution of higher learning of Northwestern standards is saying, bring him. Or we'll look the other way about that one class, that one transcript, that one thing. I, I imagine David Shaw's heard it all at Stanford. And I understand it didn't work out at the end and what have you. But if you want to, and and I think they have to, they have to go outside the program. They cannot get somebody who's been there or done that. Certainly if some, whatever is alleged, they did find has roots in the program. Someone who turned a blind eye to all that. Root and branch must be pulled up. It does appear. So go outside your program. Somebody who knows how to do it. With... A sterling reputation. I have no idea. I just threw it out there for him. You're big on David Shaw. Oh, please. Yeah. If I, again, I, I made myself the owner of the Angels in the first segment. <laughs> I'll make myself the owner of an NFL team oh, in the sure. second segment. Oh, please. Congratulations. I'm hitting the Powerball every single sentence today. <laughs> I, I, You know how I feel. I, 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 That's my hire. David Shaw. Boom. You're back in the NFL, which, by the way, you know, he has roots there, too. Yeah. Ravens, yeah. just uh, to name an organization. Boy, I'd stick him there, and I'll be like, okay, come play us, Notre Dame. We'll go toe-to-toe for the hearts and minds of the Illinois, Indiana market. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's why I, I mean. And you're not worried about all that other I, that's nonsense going on, right? I, and that, so that's my opinion right now because that's the only thing I can form with so much gray area amongst the purple and the white. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 